Hello again, thanks for tuning in to uh, another of my videos uh, and I thought I'd bring you a few a few Floyds this morning uh, nothing rare uh, but uh, we need to skip through the Floyds otherwise they'll be here for ages uh, and on display behind me you can see we've got a bit of a homage to uh, William Stout uh, so I just thought I'd put these up so you've got sitting on the top which Ian would kill me if I knew I'd done that it's his favourite record in his great day and Paul McCartney and Wings lovely deluxe TMQ from the uh, mid 70s then we've got the Gimme Shelter which is the uh, coloured vinyl version which you saw recently uh, then you've got the Bonzo's birthday party for the Zeppelin bands. Uh, beautiful. These are all deluxe printed albums. And then you've got uh, Jethro Tull Forum 73. Uh, one of Stout's um, absolute uh, masterpieces of a cover. Uh, and then just on the um, side here, Berkeley Days box set, recent one that came out. Um, it's with Godfather. Um, so there you are, a few stats. Uh, okay, so just whiz through these. Uh, these are Floyd's, they say they're not rare ones, but uh, first of all, we've got, as a matter of fact, it's all dark. Uh, single album, nice. Lovely uh, sleeve design. Uh, it's just uh, dog side outtakes, and it's I can't say whether it's limited numbers. This is a kind of blue sticker, so you know it's going to be blue vinyl. Oh, it's just pale blue, marbly. Vinyl. I think I'll see it. So as I say, the, these are sort of uh, <coughs> came out in recent years. Not expensive to buy. Next one is uh, California Stockyard. Uh, sorry, California Soundboard, uh, which is a single album from uh, San Diego '75. This is numbered, 300 of these were made, uh, 100 of each colour, and then the first 100 were, uh, were made as double albums with a, a laser etched additional disc, which uh, this isn't. This is the regular one, I think it's just orange vinyl. Yep. A bit of marbling in it, but. Uh, A nice bit of uh, 75 material. Um, so those are that is limited, so a bit more collectible than the first one. Next one's a Venus House, uh, mainly of interest due to its nice sleeve. Uh, BBC Sessions and studio stuff. Done. The line itself, uh, quite heavy pressings and actually really attractive marble green. really pretty under the lights if I can show you colours on that. I'm sure these uh, these all vary. So 
Spooner's house. You can use the title. Uh, next one came out a few years ago. Always need a little more room. This again is limited to 300. Uh, red, yellow, and blue wax. This is from Porchester, uh, US, uh, 1970. Single album. Um, this time it's uh, marble, yeah, marbly blue. Marbling on that. So that's all these need a little more room. So uh, they're from the same people. Okay, so uh, I think before the Boston uh, 73, I told you about it came out as a triple uh, multicolored, but first of all, came out as three individual single albums. Uh, so this is they. So just do a quick look at those. So the first one's called the ones at the beginning. Limited edition of 300, 150 of each colour. These are all red vinyl on mine. I don't need to show you all the, all the vinyls, but um, they're all that colour. So I think it's pretty much the whole show over three LPs. So the beginning, that's a sort of a orangey cover, the middle, green cover, and the end has a pale purple cover. So it's just as nice a version really as the, uh, as the triple, but obviously multicolored of my is Ian's bag, so that is why he has that as well. Uh, next one's um, an earlier bootleg, uh, Tour 73. So this is a, I think this is 70s uh, original, uh, black vinyl, uh, but it's not the swinging pig version. No track listing or anything on the sleeve. And just tour 73 labels. Um, I've tried to write. Silly track, no, track names on the uh, on the vinyl, on the vinyl, on the labels. I think that's, uh, that's sort of a rarer one, really, from, uh, from the early days. Tour seventy three, and then uh, another more recent one. Port Talbot Wales 69, single album again, uh, sticker on I think, yes, uh, 500 made, this is number 217, so, this was a tape that had been found, we've got a nice inner in a bag. Vinyl's uh, translucent yellow. A bit nice 
its labels. stuff um, so I think uh, you'd previously seen the double album leather effect uh, gatefold sleeve of the uh, Plumpton Racetrack 69 uh, show on uh, the bootleg people label um, so this is uh, a single album, test pressing. Oh, same thing, so they did it in two parts. Um, so, it's on black velvet. Uh, with the title just in silver on the front. And on the back plain but you've got hand numbered there number this is number three of thirty just pressings probably can't get that in the light but lovely velvet great fold uh, and then inside there is just a uh, single insert uh, but these aren't test pressings, these are um, just a limited, uh, the first 30 copies on a velvet sleeve, and this is number 3, so that's the insert for this version. So the main one on the leather sleeve was multicoloured. Plain labels. So that's uh, part one. Sound of silence label. Part one on velvet, black velvet. And so part two. Taken this out of two bags, so <laughs> four bags. This is red velvet. Part two. Number again on the back. Sheet numbered. And a lovely splatter. Really, really nice. So again, so the this is the second part of the Plumpton 69 recording, first 30 in the 
this um, velvet cover for. Okay, so it's a quick run through today, um, and there's more obviously Floyd's moles and top hats yet to, to go through, lots of black vinyls and some other bits and pieces as well. So, uh, thanks for watching, see you again soon.